Okay, so here's the album we're going to make. Sorry about the shadow. I've got some lighting issues uh, right now. But anyway, this is what it's going to look like. And I'm just going to give you a sneak peek. So it is this exploding box album. And it's a six by six with a one and a half inch spine. And it's just going to have layer after layer of explosion. Um, at the end, I'll go through a more detailed walkthrough. But I just want to give you a little peek of kind of what you are in for what you're going to end up building today. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started on the tutorial. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're going to use in this video. Um, so this is the paper pad I'm using. It is Echo Park um, 6x6 pad called Our Baby, and it is super cute. This comes in a pink pinkish theme and a blue theme and then this one is the neutral theme so this I just love it it's so cute for girl or boy beautiful soft colors and browns so if you like that kind of neutral look this is is just gorgeous paper so this is the pad that we are going to use so so, so that's basically it for the decor part of things um, then to build the album we're going to be using uh, some hundred and 10 pound cardstock so this is a bit thicker and we're going to use this for the outside of the album then we're going to use some lighter 65 pound cardstock for the inside of the album and i'll talk about why we're switching to a lighter cardstock for the inside so that's it for kind of paper that you'll need then other basics you'll need some double-sided tape so i've got um, a half inch and then uh, I think this is about a quarter of an inch size, but we will use, utilize those. And I always use art glitter glue. So that has been a very good source of stickiness for my projects. So that's it. Of course, you'll need your paper trimmer and you'll need a scoring board. So my paper trimmer has a scoring blade on it. So I'm going to use that. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start to work with the outside of the album. Um, I'm just going to give you a couple of notes, which I start all my videos with. Um, I like to cut the pieces and build as I go. So we're not going to cut everything and set it aside because I just, I can't stand labeling pieces and having to sift through them, put them together. So we're going to cut and stick the pieces together. So this is a build as you go style of tutorial. So I hope you guys like that. Second thing is just a note on my measurements. I will always quote you, unless otherwise noted, I'll always quote you height by width, okay? So that's important when we get to how we're, where we're going to score, etc. So always height by width, okay? So just a couple of little points on how my tutorials go. So I'm just, I'm starting out with my heavy cardstock here and we're going to start building out the base. So the first thing we want to do is cut out a piece that measures 11 by six and a quarter. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now this is 11, uh, this paper is already 11 inches long. So I can go ahead and now cut down to six and a quarter here. Okay. So this is going to be the base of the album. And now I want to score uh, along this side. So I'm just going to turn this on so that the 11 inch side is against the edge of my scoreboard. And I'm going to go ahead and score this um, at six and a quarter. Okay, so I'm just going to slide this over to six and a quarter. And I've got my scoring blade on here. So I'm just going to use this. So six and a quarter. And then slide over and score again at seven and three quarters. Okay, so as you can see, we are creating a uh, one and a half inch spine. Okay, so you're just gonna fold on those. And if you have a bone folder handy, you should use that. Of course, mine has disappeared. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> so just burnish down those edges really nicely. Okay, we'll just put this right here for a second. <clears throat> and then we're gonna grab another piece of, of cardstock and we're gonna measure six, sorry, seven by six and a quarter. Okay, so seven by six and a quarter. So there's my seven mark. By six and a quarter. And I'm going to put my um, 
seven inch side along the edge of the scoreboard, right? And we're gonna score, <clears throat> excuse me. We are gonna score this piece at half an inch and then at two inches, okay? So I'm here just at half an inch, score, and at two inches, slide over, score two inches, okay? So you've got half an inch and then over to two, so the center piece is one and a half. So there's your other part of your of your flap and your spine. So let's just put these together, like I said. So I'll just move this aside for a second. So here's how this will work. We will have, we will attach this bottom part and this is our top part, okay? So I'm just gonna grab my double-sided tape to do this and um, Put down your double-sided tape on the inside of your fold, right? So here's your score line, and I'm folding in. I want to put my double-sided tape right here on this side here. And when you're putting down your double-sided tape, make sure that you can see the score line because um, if you can't, if you cover up the score line and you're sticking onto it, the album is not going to fold nicely, okay? So what I do also is instead of taking this whole backing off, I just peel off a little corner here like that and I put my piece down. So I'm holding it sideways just so you guys can see it, but we are attaching this top flap to the bottom flap. So I'm going to line these up and I'm going to just hold that down. So see, I can see where I'm sticking this down. I can still see the score line, right? And once that's all aligned, I can slowly pull out the tape. Okay, and the reason I do that is that in case you stick it down incorrectly, you're not dealing with like this whole sort of mess. Okay, so that becomes the... Um, top the outside of the album okay so that's that step so we can just put that over here for a second okay so we're going to move on to cut the side flaps and the side flaps are very simple you're just going to need two pieces that measure six and a quarter by seven so i'm going to go ahead and cut those down there's six and a quarter and and save all your off cuts because you probably will be able to use them so six and a quarter by seven. Okay, there's one. And one more. And now you're gonna score these. Again, these are gonna be scored at half an inch and two inches, okay? So half an inch and then at two inches. So again, we have our one and a half inch spine. So you're going to do that on both pieces. And I, if I didn't tell you, you're going to, you're lining up your seven inch side along the edge of the scoreboard. Okay. So there we go. Half and two. <clears throat> Great, so let's move this over, fold those back, burnish them well, and now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna attach these to the sides of the elbow. Like that, and like that. Okay, now grab your double-sided tape again, put it on the inside of the fold. Make sure that score line is visible. back your album and these are going to be on each side of the album like this okay so let's go ahead and attach these and let's use that same method that I talked about which is to just peel back a bit of it and start to line it up before you peel the entire thing off there we go there's one and I 
I love this album because it really, it comes together very quickly, but it has lots of fun layers and pockets and flips and flaps. Uh, so it's a really fun little album. Um, and designed specifically for this paper, you'll see when we get to the decorating part. Okay, so here's what we got so far. And I'm, there you go, you, are, you have officially built your album base, all right? So now we can go ahead and start working on the first layer. So we are done with the 180 pound cards, uh, 180, my gosh, we're gonna be able to fold it. We're done with the 110 pound cardstock. So you can just set your scraps aside and we're gonna move on to the lighter cardstock. In this case, um, I'm using actually an 80 pound cardstock for that. Okay, so now we're gonna work on two pieces that are for these sides. So this side will have a pocket. So let's do that first. So to do the pocket, you're gonna measure a piece of cardstock that's three by six inches, okay? three by six okay, and I believe this is already six just double check okay and then you're gonna score on three sides here at half an inch okay so don't we have switched now to the lighter cardstock right this is the um, 80 pound cardstock and I don't you if you already cut this from the heavier piece don't worry it's totally fine here, but for the rest of the inside of the album, you definitely want to switch over to the lighter cardstock, otherwise it gets very bulky as you're adding in layers for this style of album. But anyways, um, I'm scoring at half an inch on three sides. Okay, so I'm scoring at half an inch on the long side and the two short sides. So now I just want to cut off these corners to get rid of the bulk so that when I fold this back and for making my pocket, I don't have excess stuff uh, paper in the way so oh, I don't think that I scored that too well so you might still need to burnish your edge a little bit but just be gentle because this is your um, your thinner cardstock okay so you should end up with like a nice clean corner like that and then this is your pocket so bring this album back. I'm just going to switch to glue because it's faster for this video, but you can use double-sided tape to stick your pocket down. So I'm just going to run some glue along each of these little flaps here. Okay. And I want to make sure like your glue, if you're using glue, you're getting close to the edge here. Okay. And I'm just going to slide this out of the way and I'm gluing this pocket down right onto the right hand side here there we go so we have a nice little pocket to put whatever we like in okay now over here I had two flaps that are coming out um, from the what were they doing they were, oh, top and bottom flaps, okay? So let me move this over and grab your cardstock again. And these are gonna be um, two pieces that measure three and a half by five inches. Okay, so three and a half. By five, and you want two of these one and two okay. and now I'm going to just put these along the three and a half inch side I'm going to score this at half an inch one and here's my other one all right and I'm going to attach these pieces to the top and the bottom like that bring my album back so these are going on the left hand side as the top and bottom flaps and they'll sort of sit like this okay now um, you can make them longer so I want to show you 
the way I designed this anyways, there's a, there's a little gap here between them because I'm going to put a card. Um, well, you'll see when we decorate. Well, you saw through the, the walkthrough. But when I stick these down, there is this tiny little gap, which I don't mind leaving. I'm doing that on purpose. But if you want to um, have them sort of meet, you just need to cut them uh, about one eighth of an inch longer each. Okay, because there's about a quarter inch space in between them right now. So I'm just sticking this down here to the bottom. And I've got these two flaps. So this is really starting to come along. Um, what are we going to work on next? I think what we'll do is we will work on the first kind of layer inside. So um, for the first layer, I'm going to work first on the bottom piece that folds out from here. So let's just move this over bring back my trusty little paper trimmer. And first thing I'm gonna do is cut the bottom and that's gonna measure, so I need you to cut a piece that is six by six and a quarter. So this will not do, we'll save that for something else. So six by six and a quarter and the reason we're cutting at six and a quarter is because um, <laughs> these pages are six inches. So when I mat them onto um, my six and a quarter, I'll have a nice little trim sort of automatically around that. Okay, so there's my six by six and a quarter piece. And now let me see something. Yes, I'm going to put my six and a quarter inch side along the bottom of the scoreboard. Okay, that's your where your 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 six and a six and a quarter inch side will go along. Sorry, your six inch side will go along the bottom of your scoreboard. Okay, run the six inch side along the bottom of your scoreboard, and then you're going to score this at half an inch. Okay, and at one and a half. So now you can see what we're doing we're now making a one inch spine. This is where sort of the exploding box sort of look comes about. Okay, so we're just gonna fold that up and attach this to our book. So let's bring our book back. Okay, so, there we go, just like this. Okay, so this was our bottom piece. That So now we're attaching this to the back of the album, to the base. Okay, so I've got this flap. I just wanna make sure you know where we're attaching this. So I'm gonna put either my double-sided tape or my glue along the outside here. So I'm using my glue. And I'm just going to stick that down. And the other thing with glue is it does let you wiggle around a little bit if you put it down in the wrong place. So that looks good though. I'm just gonna make sure that's nice and stuck down. So there's sort of the bottom piece here. And now we can work on um, the, top, the top piece that sticks out, okay. So your top piece is going to measure seven and three quarters by six and a quarter. So seven and three quarters. By six and a quarter. Okay. And now I want to score along this side, so I'm going to put my seven, my seven and three quarters inch side along the edge of the scoreboard. Okay, and I'm going to score this at half and at one and a half again. So I'm not really, I'm not needing to use my bone folder here because this really, this paper is a lot thinner. So you'll notice that. Okay, so now let's bring back the album. So this is my inside top flap. 
So when I open the front cover, this will be glued onto the base of the album right here, like so. Okay. I'm just gonna get my glue. I don't know where you guys all, all live. I'm in Canada and it's March and we still have a ton of snow that hasn't melted. So we're really hoping that um, this weekend maybe it's gonna rain and we'll get rid of all this snow. But I tell you, I have not ever shoveled this much in years, 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 years. Um, I'm talking too much and see what I did. I glued it down and I couldn't see my score line. So it, it was not folding properly. So now it's working how I need it to work. Okay, so what you should do is as you add layers and you wanna make sure that everything is still folding the way you want it to. So keep kind of working on folding it back up and making sure everything still lines up still looks the way you'd like it to look so okay so always sort of check to proceed we'll call it so this is where we're at so far and we're doing tremendously good with timing so we can go ahead and keep going and I think like we're more than halfway through um through this little album so on the top flap we have two flaps that open up to the sides and those are great um, to include more pictures in. So we're gonna go ahead and cut those out now. So those are gonna measure, you're gonna cut two pieces that measures six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay, so let me just move this over, bring this back. Uh -huh. I'm trying to see if any of my cutoffs will work, and this does. So two pieces, right? Six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So we'll just six and a quarter. I think yes, this is four and a quarter. Awesome. So I'll just put this over here and I need one more piece. Six and a quarter. Okay, and now each of these pieces, you're just gonna score them at half an inch. Okay, so you have your four and a quarter inch side along the edge of your scoreboard. There's one. And two. Okay, so there's my two pieces for that. I'm gonna bring back my little album. And this is starting to get a little fun, a little complicated. So these are going to come out of this flap that we just added. So they're going to be kind of a gatefold right here. Okay. So, oops, it's happening. Let's just glue those down. And you, what I do like to use the bone folder for too is after I've glued it down, just to make sure that, you know, I've pressed it all nice, nicely down. I will go over it with the bone folder. So there's one. I'm just gonna line this up edge to edge here. Looks good. Sometimes we need to stand up. There we go, there's one side. And comes the other. So, anyways, as I was saying, if there's anybody out there watching and you're in a warm climate, um, yeah, post a comment. Tell me how nice and warm it is so I can live uh, vicariously through you, okay? It will not be warm here till about middle of May if we're lucky. And then it just summer gets pretty hot, but right now it's still kind of cold. All right, so there's that flap finished. I love it. Okay. Um, 
Let's now work on sort of the bottom. I mean, what have we, what have we done here? Sorry, I want to take stock. Yes, we have our top, we have our bottom, and now we can proceed to kind of the next pieces. Okay, so let's work on the flaps that come out of here that now have um, a half inch spine. So we're slowly progressing down in terms of size of spine. So I'm gonna just fold this up for a second so I can nicely move it out of the way. Bring this back. And so now you're gonna cut three pieces, okay? You're gonna be all the exact same size. You're gonna measure five by six and one eighth. Okay, so there's my five. So six and one eighth. This is important because I want these to fit nicely inside. If I measure them at six and a quarter, they'll all start kind of butting up against each other. So five by six and one eighth. I'm sure I could have been more um, efficient with my paper usage, but I know I'll use those for something else. Uh, will this work? No. Okay, now two of these pieces are going to fold from the sides and one is going to fold from the top. So for two of these pieces, you're going to run your shorter sides, so your five inch side along the edge of your scoreboard. Okay, and then score them at half an inch and then at one inch. Okay, so half and one on two pieces with the shorter side along your edge of your scoreboard. All right, now take your other piece, and actually I don't know why I said that, you're gonna score them the exact same way, half and one. It's just directionally how we stick them down is different, but this part, it's exactly the same. Okay, so there's our three pieces. Get rid of that for a second. Bring our album back. And I, I'm sorry, I know I keep folding it, but it's because I also want to make sure you're putting these in the right place in the album. So we open the outside flaps. Now we get to the center. We have a top and a bottom. And now we have these three pieces. And they're going to go like this. One, two, and three. Okay? So let me put down this top one first, and then we'll do the side ones. There we go. I'm hoping this speeds up the tutorial a little bit using glue because um, I know sometimes you want to do the work and you don't want to watch me yapping doing this project for hours, so. Okay, so I stuck those down to the top one, and now I can do the left and the right. So remember, I'm always making sure I can see my score lines everywhere. Okay, so that's that. We've got these three pieces. And you can decide which way you want to fold them. It can be like this, it can be like that, it doesn't matter. So now the last little bit is the waterfalls for the inside in this part. 
um, is really easy and fun. So let's fold her up again. Oh, see, I missed a layer. There we go. And let's work on the waterfall for the inside. Well, the waterfall for the inside um, is really easy. I'm going to do one, but you're going to cut 12, 12 of these pieces, okay? So you're going to cut 12 pieces that measure three and a quarter by three, okay? So let's just do one together. So three and a quarter by three. And then put your three and a quarter inch side along the edge of your scoreboard, right? And score this at a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch we're scoring. That's it, just a tiny little bit. You might need your bone folder to help you out with this. Okay, so cut out 12 of these. Pause the video, cut out 12 of these, three and a quarter by three, scored at half inch mark, and then when you come back, we'll put them in the album. Okay, so hopefully you're back and you cut out 12 of these little guys and scored them. I have also gone ahead and put some double-sided tape on the edge. So we're gonna glue these down, um, or stick them down. I'm using double-sided tape because I wanna show you um, how I kind of slowly install them, make sure they're all lined up, and the best way to do that is with double-sided tape. So if you need to pause again, go, go ahead and get your double-sided tape down on the little flap on the outside, so it'll be like this, right? And then we're gonna put them um, into the album. So I'm just burnishing the edges, and we'll start putting them in the album. Okay, so you can pause here. And if you didn't pause, we are gonna continue. So these, Let's open the album right up. And these little waterfalls are going to go into the base of the back of the album here. So <clears throat> they're gonna be side by side. And these are the little month cards that come in the kit. Uh, we're gonna be decorating uh, with these little guys here. So that'll be on the front and then the picture um, of the baby on the other side, so at each of the different ages. So that's what we're gonna do with these cards and that's why we made 12 of them. So let's start to install them. They're a little bit trickier because they're side by sides and we wanna make sure everything gets lined up. So first thing I usually do is I just kind of lay them down where they're going to go just so I get an idea of their placement. So because we cut these a little bit uh, we only cut these three inches and this back page is six and a quarter. We do have like a, a little bit of space on each side. So what I wanna do is just, I'm gonna stick these down so that they're lined up against um, this outside score line, the score line right here, because then I know that I've got a straight line here and then I'll have about like a quarter of an inch in between and everything will be lined up properly, okay? So I hope that made sense. So I'm gonna fold back one corner and this is my first card, right? So let's make sure we're putting this in the right place, right? I have this top flap, it has a spine. I'm sticking this right against this score line uh, where I've attached the top flap. So up in this, right up in this corner here. Um, and I'm going to just align it to the top and make sure it's straight along this score line, right? That's gonna use, sort of be my marker of how I can tell that I'm putting, putting everything in straight. So that looks good. I'm just gonna hold that steady and stick it down. Okay, so we're gonna do all six on this side. So I'm gonna do a couple more just to show you. So peel back again, peel back the corner Okay, don't peel the whole thing off. Go in, now you're gonna butt up this edge against the bottom of the one you just stuck down, right? Right here. So I'm gonna line those up. And then I like to just fold this one over again just to make sure it's lined up, okay? And we'll do that all the way down. Like everything is nice and even. That looks good. And I can pull that out. And we just keep going with all 12 of them, so six and six, okay? So <clears throat> I'm just gonna actually show you, I'm gonna switch to the other side, because you'll just keep in this fashion, what I just showed you, put all six down. Now let's just start on the other side. Let's pretend all six are down. 
I'm going to do the same thing. I'm coming to the other side. I'm lining it up against the top. And I'm, I want to see this score line. So there we go. That looks good, nice and straight. Sometimes it's tricky when you're doing two that you really have to make sure they're straight. Otherwise, the papers start kind of um, hitting each other. So let's do one more. And then you can pause here and put... Um, all of your pieces in okay so here's one more same thing as we did on the other side we're lining it up making sure it's straight over here against this score line I'm folding this down and see I can see I need to nudge this a little bit so there we go and pull that out so there's number two and so on so continue doing that until you've got all 12 of the pieces in here Okay, so you should have your little waterfalls all installed here. And now what we're going to do is make a pocket for down at the bottom that's going to hold them down. So you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. But it's just going to be a straight up flat little pocket, nothing, nothing fancy. And I'm just going to measure out because I want this pocket to be one and a half inches by six and one eighth. Okay, so just grab your paper and measure out one and a half by six and one eighth. There we go. Okay. Set this over here. Just bring my album back. And now I'm just going to, this. so this piece is going to just sit right down here. So I'm going to glue along the edges a really thin line of glue because I'm don't want, oh my goodness, I don't want too much glue on this little guy. Sorry guys. Okay, so I'm just putting down glue on my three sides. Just a very thin layer. There we go. And then I'm putting this pocket right on the center of this back page. Again, I'm always making sure I can see the score lines. Okay, so what am I doing with this? Is then that will hold a little card. And this is a kind of a silly example, but <laughs> this is kind of big, but it's going, you get the picture, right? We're gonna mat something down and it's gonna just sort of sit here and it'll hold that waterfall down and it'll be an additional, additional mats for photos, okay? So that's how that's gonna work. So let's just kind of do a little quick kind of inventory of where we're at with our little album here. I think this is, this is a great little thing. It will make a really lovely little gift, I think. Okay, so here we go. So here's the album. Okay. And you can see I have put my waterfalls, they're oriented sideways to how the album is. Um, you can do them any way that you like. I, I do, I love this sort of like sideways look because then my photos, whatever I'm matting, will go in here like that. And it'll just sort of be a vertical um, four by six. I guess it doesn't matter. The other way is fine too, but this is just kind of a little bit of a different, a different look. Okay, so that is it for the base of the album, guys. We can now move on to decorating. So I'm not going to decorate the entire album in this video, but I'm just going to show you a few of my little decorating tips and especially little tricks where um, I make closures that don't require you to use magnets, etc. Because I really, um, I try to really avoid too many magnets. So let's go ahead and show you some of those little tips and tricks, I call them. Okay, so I said I was going to show you a couple of ways to um, create closures for your album that don't actually require magnets um, or magnets, actually. That's about it. So I'm going to show you the first one for the cover. So this is, I've started decorating, as you can see, but I left the cover so that I could show you how I'm going to create the closure for it. So I chose my patterned papers. So you'll see I, I picked this plaid and... Um, 
this is one of the strips from the six by six pad that I just matted. And then I really love this little wild things with all the wild animals to make my heart sing so cute. So that's going to be my cover and closure piece. So this is so easy to do. Um, so check it out if you like it. If you don't like it, then no problem. You can always stick um, some magnets under here at this point um, to keep this closed. But it's going to look like this when it's finished. Um, but I'm going to have this sort of little swinging mechanism because I love anything interactive like that. So what you want to do is you're going to need uh, one of these pokey things, okay? And you're going to also need a brad. So any brad will do. I have these cute little heart-shaped silver brads, so I'm going to use that. I think it's appropriate. Um, and what you're going to do is essentially... Put your patterned paper down where you're going to be placing it on the cover. And then this is the card. It's going to sit here. The brad's going to get attached in this corner. And you're going to, it's going to hold the flap, the top flap down. And when you want to open the album, you simply swing this out of the way. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. So I want to center this more or less. Okay, and it looks like I'm going to put my brad right about in this corner here. So I just put this tiniest little dot that you can't even see, I'm sure, but I just kind of want to, so I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna see if my brad looks good here. Yep, and I think it, it will. Maybe I wanna put it a little bit in more. So I'm just gonna put a little circle here. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take one of these little butterfly clips and slowly slide this out because I want I'm going to pierce through this and this in the exact same spot so I want to keep them together and I'm going to take my little butterfly clip and hold everything together here so you want to just check again and make sure that it's centered from side to side and then take your piercing tool and just hold everything together and carefully poke through in that spot that you want to put your brad. So there we go. And now I'm going to take my brad. And I love using this method. If you follow any of my other tutorials, um, you will have seen it already. So maybe you're bored and don't want to follow along. You can just go ahead and do it if you know how. But I always like to go through it in case this is your first uh, tutorial that you're doing with me. So just open up the brad, okay, and that's it. Let me get rid of this butterfly clip. And then I have this little swinging interactive mechanism, okay? And now this is why we cut the size of the covers is what it is, because I need the top one to kind of stick down low enough so that this covers it. It comes quite a bit underneath this little card. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue down this top piece here. Sorry, I'm being a little bit messy with my glue because I'm trying not to waste too much time with you guys just watching me glue stuff. So I'm just going to glue this down. Center that, just flatten it out. Okay, so there's my top. And now for the bottom, same thing, we're just going to glue this down. So just maybe slide that out of the way so you don't get any glue on there and just put glue all around your edges. Um, uh, some people like to use double-sided tape, so go ahead if that's what you like. I love using this art glitter glue. It works really well for me. I've never had an issue with it, so I'm gonna keep using it. Okay, and now we're just gonna center this onto our bottom flap. That's the other thing I like about the glue is it gives you a little bit of time to wiggle things around. Okay, I'm just gonna, much easier to press it down from the inside. Okay, all right, and so let's put it to work. So I'm gonna close my flap up, slide this up, and it just sits. So it does, I mean, it sticks up a little, but I don't mind, I think that looks adorable, and I love the interactiveness of it 
Okay, so that's how we're going to keep the bottom flap in. So that's one, one technique. I'm going to show you another one where it's not um, interactive, uh, sort of. doesn't have the little brad. And all you need to do is fold your paper a certain way. Um, not fold it, cut your paper a certain way. So you'll recall on the inside of the album, and sort of the first flap that we lift towards the top, we had kind of this overlapping gatefold. Okay, so here I'm going to put this card here. I'm only going to glue it down on one side because this side is going to tuck in under it. Okay, and I'm going to probably glue it far enough. Um, so it's about a quarter of an inch from this edge that I'm gluing it down. So I'm only going to get glue here on this kind of first, let's call it first inch of card. Okay, so you're not going to go any further than that first inch. Okay, so get your glue down on there and then center your card where you'd like it. About there, looks good to me. And make sure that's nice and stuck down. And there you go. That is another closure. So when you want to open it, just opens up like this. And when you want to close it, just tuck it under. And it just it just adds a little bit. To it. So those are the two closures that I wanted to show you before I do a final walkthrough um, of the decorated album. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to close it up and start from the top here. So this is uh, the outside of the album. So we just went through kind of this front cover piece. Like, I do want to mention something. You know, this kind of closure, it doesn't keep it like tight. Like, so if you want it tight, and everything kind of sealed, you'll have to use a magnet. But anyway, at the cost of, you know, saving yourself magnets, you can have this kind of interactive little closure that I think is much cuter. So just want to show you the side of the album. And then the back, I use this cute rainbow paper and the plaid. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look inside. Okay, so here is a full walkthrough of this album. Again, we made a six by six. It's actually six and a quarter by six and a quarter um, because I was mostly using a six by six pad and that just makes decorating much easier. Um, this is all I've got left of my patterned paper that we used. So we can definitely make some more little photo mats with the leftovers, but I just wanted to show you that we pretty much um, used up the entire patch. So that makes me super happy because I hate having bits and bobs of leftovers. So I can either make a couple of cute cards with this um, or put it in my scrap pile to give away to the local kindergarten. But anyway, let's do a little walkthrough. So I've done this outside in plaid on two sides and then this little mini rainbow, which I th it's just so cute. I love these colors. Um, I think this was this one was their neutral, but uh, I think you can, it looks a little boyish to me. I think it's still boy. They had one that was more blue, but I think it's good for both boy or girl, but it's just, it's so sweet. Like I love, love the little images. Anyway, thinking you guys don't need me to go on about how cute the images are because you probably have this one sitting in front of you. So let's carry on. So this slides out of the way, which is what we just did together. And then the top opens up and this is just decorative. Um, the reason I don't walk through decorating every single page is that you may want to do it a little bit differently. So I show you my version and then you can decide to do what you like. But um, I, left, I left this as just a decorative kind of little intro page, but you could totally make this a photo mat if you want space for more photos. Okay, so now it opens up to the bottom and I put, this is one of the uh, four by six cards. So recall that we we're using one of those sheets. So I just matted that so we have space for two photos or maybe some journaling here on the bottom flap. Okay, so there's my top and bottom. Then we open out to the sides. Okay, so let's, um, there it is laid out flat. Let's take a look at this side first. So this is just one of the three by four cards that's matted. And then I've left here lots of photo space. Okay. I don't have a magnet or anything on this. You don't need it. Like it's seriously going to stay flat. Okay. I'm all about reducing usage of magnets in the albums. Um, over here is the pocket. So I just tucked in some of these 
uh, photos, four by six cards. I need to mat these onto some uh, cardstock, but I just wanted to get to the end of this video and show you. So these will make cute little mats. Um, then this was one of the four by six cards. I just scored it down the center and then folded in half and it becomes a little place for booklets and just another little card. So I'll just tuck those back in here. Okay, then I have this center flap and these are two of the four by six cards that I just simply scored at a quarter inch and then attached to make a little gatefold and more space for photos. So this opens up to the top. And then up here, this is the page that we decorated um, with this flap over closure. So that just opens up and then space for lots of space for photos um, in here. This little guy, this Our Baby, I saved this so I could show you what I did. I don't throw anything away. So this is actually the little title uh, from the strip that's at the bottom of the 12 by 12 page. So I use that. So don't throw anything away. Everything can be used. So tuck that back in and we will continue to the center. So this flaps open. Let me slide this up so you can see that better. Maybe I move this. That's better, a little bit better. Anyways, okay. So I've got this B for baby card. And then the center flips up as well. And then we've got this kind of supposed to be sitting this way, but I've got my center pieces here. This is the last layer that opened. So those open up left and right, more photo space. And then this is a pocket that is dealing with how we're gonna keep the waterfall closed, right? So we decided this pocket with these cards on top keeps the waterfalls down. And again, then you have photo mats in place for more pictures. And then we have our sweet little waterfall in here. And so what I did with this waterfall is I put the month on this side and then you'll put the baby picture on the right side. So we've got one, two, three, and so on, right to six. And then same with the bottom. Okay, and so then we get to here. And I debated whether I would do like one, two, three, four. So that on this page, we'd end up with 11, 12, and the two photos would be at 11 months and 12 months. But I thought, no, I think it's kind of cute to see the baby pictures next to each other at really different stages. So at six and 12, um, super cute. But anyway, um, you can do that however you like. So that's really it. These tuck back in here. I'm just gonna fold the album back up. Um, this is this is it for this album. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. I do all my content for free. Um, one day when I don't have a day job that interrupts my more exciting life, I will start to provide written instructions with measurements. But for now, um, this is the best I can do. But I really have a lot of fun doing these videos. So um, I love your feedback. I read every single comment. So if you have something you want to tell me or a tip and trick that you'd like to share, I'm really happy to see all that but again please like and subscribe and i uh, hope to see you guys back again soon for more content and more tutorials bye